Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about STXL and Animative. We all know that Animative can make amazing animation using stable diffusion models. However, the resolution of the generated videos are relatively low. Today we're gonna see how we can combine STXL models with Animative in order to generate video with a resolution of 1024 by 1024. After that, the generated videos gonna be upscaled using Topaz AI, which is another amazing tool. So, without further ado, let's dive into tutorial. First of all, I'm gonna show you how we can install the necessary files for our animation. Use the link provided on the description. Then scroll down until you found Animate Diff SDXL Beta. Here, you must download this link. Then, once it is downloaded, go to your Comfy UI folder, then enter custom notes and search for Comfy UI Animative Evolve. After that, go to Models and paste your file here. For those of you who don't have Animative Evolve files, make sure to check my previous video. Good. Now we, we need another file which is an STXL LoRa based model. Make sure to download this Stormy Cloud STXL style, then place it on your LoRa folder. You can go to Comfy UI folder, check for models, then you're gonna find LoRa. You can, you can paste your LoRa file here. Okay, now that we have everything that we need, we're gonna start our workflow. But for those of you who don't want to waste their time, you can use directly my workflow that I provided on the description. So let's start with creating our workflow. First of all, I'm gonna start by the checkpoint. I'm using a real vision CXL version model. Then I'm gonna add a lower loader. Let's combine it with our checkpoint loader. And plug it with the key sampler. I'm gonna delete those slide text for now. Let's change our resolution to 1024 since we are using STXL models. Okay, let's load our LoRa for me cloud. Let's change the strength of the model to 1.5. Oh, sorry, 1.5. Now let's start adding our animative nodes. Just use the mouse, click, and search for Animate Diff Loader. Select the Animate Diff Loader with context. And then add this Uniform Context option. Make sure that your context length is 16, but you can go to a higher number if your PC can handle it. Let me plug the LoRa model here, then I'm gonna plug the animative here. Now make sure that you have the animative motion STXL beta version selected. Also, don't forget to change the beta schedule to linear animative STXL. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad animation at the end. Now let's work on our text prompt workflow. Double click and add patch prompt schedule latent input. Plug it here and it's gonna be our positive. For the negative prompt, let's add a simple clear text in code. And I'm gonna also plug it here. 
let's just change the color i'm gonna make this one green and the other one red colors red okay now we have our batch prompt that allows us to generate animation with animate diff let me select everything and paste my prompt here as you can see i have already set up the prompt for our animation but before we go further make sure that your last sentence don't contain commas otherwise you're gonna have a problem with generating animation okay now let's jump to our key sampler let's leave the sampler name to Euler and the shader to normal make sure to decrease your CFG scale to a value lower than 3 for the CFG scale I use the value of 3 or a value lower than 3 because my PC could not handle it and for the steps I leave it to 20 which is perfect for me now let's click Q prompt and see if we have something left we can see that we forgot the, non the nonce latent here for the batch prompt shader okay we're gonna fix that by using this empty latent image here and plug the latent here make sure that your batch size is equal to the number of the text prompt here otherwise you're gonna have a short animation and it's not gonna follow all your text prompt okay good let's click your prompt again and see if we have some errors everything seems fine let's wait again good now it's gonna take some time depending on your pc configuration for me it took six to seven hours to completely finish this animation so once your animation is finished the VAE gonna decode your information then you can save the images or use video combine to create a video of your generated images search for video combine then simply plug it here make sure to change the frame rate to 24 select your prefix name or your file name and also make sure to change the format to mp4 once it's gonna decode all your information you can see you're gonna see the video here once my video is completely done and rendered i use topaz ai to enhance the final resolution once it's opened make sure to drag your file here and now i'm gonna show you the setting i use for my video i changed the fps original to 24 then select the four time upscaler after that the video type i leave it as it is the ai model i selected the denoise sharpen artemis model once it's done click export and wait for the software to download the model then it's gonna upscale your video and here you can see the comparison result between the two of them i also managed to use different lorhas to see the obtained results
Also, some people suggested me that the stable diffusion model generate more cohesive Im image video than the STXL version, even if it is a high resolution. I managed to do some tests, and you can see the comparison between them. I don't know, maybe it depends on the taste of every one of us. For my case, I think the STXL version is better than the SD version for this type of animation. So let me know in the comment if you share the same opinion as me or do you prefer the SD version. Okay, that's it for today's video. Next time I'm gonna try to combine or add control net to do to this workflow and see if we manage to make it work in order to create more amazing animation. So if you like this video make sure to push the like button for me and share it with your friend. Thank you.